Hey everybody, it's Jennifer, and today we are trying a new recipe. Um, it's called Pull Apart Pizza Muffins. So, let's begin. So what they ask you to do first is to put three quarters of a cup of Italian, or um, of olive oil into a bowl. It's a lot of olive oil. Except in the bowl, it doesn't look like it. And then what they want you to do is have 26 ounces of uh, dinner rolls. And what I bought is I bought the frozen dinner rolls and then I had them in my free fridge overnight so they would so soften up because you got to um, cut them in pieces. So as you guys can see, I just put them in a bowl. And then what you're supposed to do is, you know, they made it look a lot more easier, but you're just supposed to like cut each dinner roll into four pieces but mine just turned into a bowl of mush so i think next time when i do the dinner rolls i'm gonna do them frozen and then um let them let them like uh thaw out separately individually so then i don't have this big bowl of mush but like i said this is my first attempt so we're gonna put those all in there first Okay, so I have all the um, dinner rolls all cut up into pieces. It's easier to cut them if you guys have scissors. Um, these are cooked, these are uh, food scissors. And then what you guys also will need is two and a half cups of mozzarella. And I have a feeling I don't have enough mozzarella, but I don't care. So, one, two, Three. Okay, so that's two and a half cups of mozzarella, and then you also need a half a cup of Parmesan. So, and this is my first attempt making this, so, you know, I just see all these recipes on Pinterest, and I'm like, ooh, I want to try those. Okay, who cares? I'm from Wisconsin, we eat a lot of cheese. So, so then we need that. And then you need two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. I'm just going to... This is going to take forever. Right? Two cups. Two tablespoons. Okay, so there's that. And then it recalls for a package of sliced pepperoni, six ounces. So I got six ounces of pepperoni. And then what they want you to do is slice them up in pieces. So what we have is just your average pepperoni. You can cut them up in half. You can cut them up in quarters, whatever you guys want to do. Um, so, and then make sure you spread them apart because you don't want to have a big chunk. Of pepperoni. So I'm gonna cut these and then we're gonna mix it up together. Okay, so as you see, I got all the pepperonis chopped up. And then what I also like to do, and you guys can do this if you want to, is put garlic in there. You know, you're making a pizza. So then what you gotta do is you gotta mix this stuff. You wanna have the oil all over the place. And like I said, my my bread is probably gonna be all combined because it's a little too soft. I should have probably put it in the freezer. But you want to mix everything. So make sure you like spread it apart all this yummy stuff. And this did not turn out the way I wanted it. But that's okay. So make sure you guys spread out your pepperoni too. You want to make sure the oil is touching everything. There's a video that I saw how they made this and it made it look so much easier. But yeah. So now what we're going to do is spray our muffin pan uh with uh oil and then we're going to um put it in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. So first I have to wash my hands. I 
And I'm just mixing up the bread because it'll probably taste a little bit better if it's not all one big mole of mush. But as, as the oil and stuff touches it, it's, it doesn't stick together as much. Okay, so I got my hands washed, and now we got your muffin pan, and then you're gonna spray it. And my hands are all wet. Okay, so then what you guys are gonna do is make sure your pepperonis are a little bit, but you're gonna take a ball, and they say you can make about 12 muffins out of this. And then you're gonna put it in each pipe tin. Like I said, I've never made this before, so. But from what I've heard in reviews, this is really good. And it's okay if you guys make a mess because, I don't know. And my phone is ringing. And I can't answer it. My husband would answer it. That would be awesome. Grammy, I'll push stop. And so we're going to put this in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes and then I'll take it out and show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so this is what they look like after 20 minutes, uh, technically about 25 minutes of baking. One thing I learned is you do not need as much pepperoni. I think we could probably get away with half the pepperoni because right here there was tons of grease. Um, so we ended up soaking that up. But let's try it. We'll scoop one up. And I do not have marinara sauce, but this is a great way to serve it with marinara. But, and I could have sprayed the pans a little bit better. But that's okay, this is my first attempt. So let's try it. And see what it tastes like. It tastes like um like a, a breadstick actually. Mmm. Well good. Mmm. Well good. It's good. But each batch does uh feed about twelve muffins muffin tins, so yeah. And I will put the recipe for this link below in the, in the information thing. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you guys tried this recipe before, you know, let me know if you did add other, other items to it. You can add other meats to it or no meat if you want. You can do whatever you guys want. But give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and help me out so I know that you guys enjoy watching these videos. And I just want to say thank you for, guys for watching and hope everybody has a nice day.